up everybody, my name is Tony Grant and I'm right here on Topaz Mag, my man Tony Topaz. It's not about whom she knows. I have found the perfect girl. She just walk in her studio. It's not about her sex appeal. Repeated several times. Don't quit your day job. It's not about her fame or her dreams. Listen to it from a location midway between the loudspeakers. One, two, three, face. It's not about her romance. It's all about the dance. LL, get funky. DollarPreview.com brings you the new blood of Hollywood. When you want to see something you've never seen before. Now you have a choice. Oscar Michelle style, baby. Brother Marvin, yeah, uh, that is starring uh, myself, Lynn Whitfield, Keith Washington, Clifton Powell. Uh, this is a very, very good piece. <clears throat> Marvin, get your head on straight, man. What do you think you most talk to a burning bird? Man, I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you. Let me tell you something. I will not say another note. Or record another record until the album What's Going On is done, finished, and released. Now, look, the play My Brother Marvin was a play that's inspired by his baby sister, Ziola Gay, uh, written by a young lady by the name of Angela Barrow Dunlap, who's done an array of plays on Off Broadway um, for many, many years. I would say she's second in line to Tyler Perry. But uh, the play My Brother Marvin is a story about. Marvin Gaye as a young boy uh, all the way through his teenage years and Motown years as well as you know his adult years which ending result was him uh, being shot by his father and Ziola Gaye which is the sister she's telling the story from the mother's side of things and it's uh, it's a very very good piece it's very inspirational very sad uh, but the music whoo music is off the chain Marvin Gaye of course an icon I mean you can't I mean, you got what? It's the king of R&B right there. So Marvin Gaye is, 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 is a very, very talented man. I believe I'm your baby boy, and I know you're mine. Pride and joy, yeah, baby. Nobody could ever destroy You pick me up When I'm down And when we go I'm pretty baby You shake up the whole town And that's why You are my Pride and joy Oh, you are my Pride and joy I believe I'm your Baby boy And I know you're my Pride and joy All your roles, what would you say was the most challenging? Marvin Gaye. And why um, is that? Definitely, because I mean, trying to portray somebody else is very difficult because you have to play a true to form. And you know, these other characters were made up characters, written characters in the script. But Marvin Gaye is an icon, he was a living being. And to 
portray him and to kind of mimic his movements. You know, he was always here. He was, um, you know, he, he talked real soft and, uh, you know, and uh, I'd like to say that um, every now and again, um, I love my music, you know. So Marvin Gaye was a real classy kind of guy and the women just loved his brother because he was so smooth and so soft spoken. So. So how did you go up, uh, about researching him, like the character development, what you do? Oh wow, I went online, um, <clears throat> I searched his movements out, I, I, um, I saw him in a lot of interviews, talking to people like Dick Clark, um, you know, interviews with him and Barry Gordy, but more than that, I sat down with his sister and I just, she grilled me, I mean, she told me things and told me what type of person he was, how he thought, uh, and honestly, um, my life and my talents and gifts are, weren't far from his. Uh, the way I grew up and all that, you know, playing sports and all those things, and just being aggressive and, and enjoying what I love to do. So, um, but most, most of all, I sat down with her and she just kind of really, really gave it to me about how he was. And my studying habits for him was phenomenal because I've always been intrigued with Marvin Gaye. Okay. Um, when, when did you start singing? How did your whole career start? What would be the thing that got you started? Uh, you know what? I started uh, 20 years ago. Oh, 24 years ago, I'm sorry. In Charlotte, North Carolina uh, was where I got my break and started. Uh, I went and auditioned for a play called A Good Man is Hard to Find, which toured for four years, made about $33, $34 million. <laughs> it was an amazing play that jump-started my career. Uh, in theater and acting, I went from there and uh, I started singing in an R&B group called As Yet. And we had a couple of hit singles out, one called Last Night and the other called uh, Hard to Say I'm Sorry. And uh, I'm still actually working with those guys. They are also in My Brother Marvin, the Marvin Gaye story. The group As Yet is. They're playing The Temptations. Isn't that a trip? So did you bring them in or they came? I sure did. I was, I was a, a part of that. Um, the promoters called me up. And that's the blessing about being in theater for so long. Uh, I've had such an extensive career that these promoters now trust me and I'm able to help people, you know, bring along some talent. And uh, they'll give me a call and they'll say, look, I need this or I need that. And I know somebody that kind of can step in and do what needs to be done. I'm working on an album all at the same time, two of them. I'm working on a love song album and I'm working on a gospel album as well. And I'm working with my wife, Trisha Man Grant, on her talk show called Man Talk. Phenomenal, phenomenal talk show. Hi, I'm Trisha. And I'm Tony. And I'm Ciola. And you Ooh. are watching Man, Man Talk. talk. bravely and with great honor. The strength of our gallant horses and the bite of our skillful swords, these tyrants shall spread evil no more! We are the Knights of Templar! Now, Gregoire, it is time for you to die. So be it. You will have your ten lifetimes of excess. But then, I will come for you, all of you. Hello everyone, and welcome to your individual fantasy getaway weekend. My name is Jake McAllister, and I'll be your host. My brothers, 700 years have passed. And as spoken from his lips, he will return for his vengeance. Deliver the souls of the accursed to hell. I knew it was you. 
and now your blood shall be mine. Have you considered any of the turning the other cheek business? I shall cut you ten times. Come and get it! It's been a long time. Take your phony, untalented, fake ass home. Jimmy, you demand it. Take it away. Oh, don't give me those self righteous calls, Gabby. We'd be filthy rich right now. We'd be filthy rich right now. I don't know what you're talking about. DollarPreview.com brings you the new blood of Hollywood. When you want to see something you've never seen before, now you have a choice. Oscar Michaud style, baby. But, oh, Don's got the fix. I don't want you to worry about it. Oh, you got the fix. Oh, that's right. I got a fighter by the name of Bernardo Mercado. Got him ranked number 10. That number's padded, too. Now, champ should have no problem handling that boy. Got a new plan in? I can't listen to this no more, champ. This is the same guy that was on CBS last week talking to Jim Hill, telling him that your, your fighting career is finished. Now you're trying to muscle your way in because I made it happen? You better watch where you're stepping, boy. I ain't your damn boy. Come on, now, both of y'all. This demands an amateur, champ. Look, you better drop him before he blow the whole damn deal. And you're a thief and a liar. You and your two-bit lawyer. What? I will kill you where you sit. You can kiss my ass. Look, man. Everybody needs to just calm down. Champ, you can't let this snake come in here. Ruin everything. Look, James, you didn't said everything you need to say. Champ, I don't no, want to hear no more. He's been trying to destroy this since the beginning. I said enough. Champ, you cannot sit here and just let That's this. That's enough. Well, we probably better be going anyway. Champ, we'll talk later. Yeah, Don. The pig. The farmer coming. <laughs> How long are we going to be gone? As long as it takes. Who knows? Maybe they'll drop the case against me while we're gone. And if they don't? Then I'm going to need a lawyer. A good one. Good lawyers cost money. I'm gonna make money, baby. That's why I'm doing all of this. You know, when we get to California, me and the champ are gonna sit down and get some business rolling. You and Ali? Yeah. What type of business? A celebrity golf tournament. We thought it was a great idea. All right, so now again, where can we catch Tony Grant online? Uh, you can go to uh, my Facebook pages. I have three of them, actually. Um, I have a fan page, which is Tony Grant. Please go on there and like that page. Um, but most of the stuff that I'm doing, you can find on um, Anthony Grant Facebook.com, and, uh, and I have all, also my other page is Anthony Tony Grant. You can go there as well, or YouTube. You know, you'll see a bunch of videos, things of that nature, where people have posted things. Um, I'm so honored that the you know the fan base that I have, their commitment towards me and towards my talents and the support that I get from them. Um, in the near future, I uh, plan on doing something, hopefully, that I can give back just in support for them as they have supported me. So I definitely appreciate everybody. Make sure you tune in and look for the play, My Brother Marvin, coming to your city. We're doing D.C., we're doing Philly, we're doing Detroit, we're doing Hartford, Connecticut, we're doing uh, L.A., uh, Long Beach, we're doing Oakland. We'll be going to Cleveland, Ohio. We're all over the place. So it's called My Brother Marvin, the life story of Marvin Gaye. Make sure you check it out. And make sure you tune in to Trisha Man Grant, her new talk show called Man Talk. Go on YouTube. You can look it up. Just a sample of it. It's called Man Talk. And be ready for it. Access Granted by Tony Grant. That's okay, so what would be your favorite Marvin Gaye song? Ooh, What's Going On? Okay. What's Going On is my favorite Marvin Gaye song. And I want you. Is my favorite love song by Marvin Gaye. And what would be Tony Grant's favorite song, the one you're performing? 
Uh, my performance? Uh, my favorite song of all time is Sweet November by Babyface and the Deal. I don't know if y'all know that. That's a hot record like that. But that's uh, my favorite song is Sweet November by Babyface and the Deal. Okay, one last question. What would you say be your most, out all the tours, plays, and so forth, most memorable performance and why? Um, I would have to say uh, A Medea's Christmas. Um, I was in such a zone at that time. I, I kind of had an outer body experience during my performance in that play, when I, especially when I was singing the song. Um, I just went somewhere else because the song just was amazing. Um, absolutely amazing. It was um, one of those songs that you can just bite into. And I was able to bite into it and put my heart and soul into it. And it, it, I just left it there. It, it was like being in a boxing ring and, and you know you're the underdog. And you go in and you knock the guy out and you just step over him and walk out. That's what I did with that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I don't know about tomorrow, but I know about today. I just hope that tomorrow is better than yesterday. I pray about tomorrow like I prayed about today, and I pray.